we have mainly three type of inbound process uh, inbound inbound from vendors inbound from intercompany intracompany with the stock transfer order uh, inbound processes uh, from customer return and then we have like internal movement uh, internal rework process from production uh, and reversal from the production and we have also to customize some storage location so we have also taken that into the account as a process that uh, the customer need three additional storage location uh, and then we have posting changes like quality block unblock and scrapping uh, after that we have outbound processes for dry goods outbound process for uh, package and raw materials and outbound processes for dry goods uh, and then shipping shipping point and sales for inter and intra company shipping for returns One process for physical inventory, the cycle counting yeah. and, and uh, some master data mentioned. Yeah. Uh, master data like warehouse product master batch, batch classification, BP, which is the customer vendor in ECC now in s 4 is business partner and resources in EWM, which is an important master data. Because all uh, Krishna, you have your own BPML or whether it's both are preparing common? BPML? No, we, we, we prepared together today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So what about production related process? Production related. Yes, uh, if you can scroll down, uh, Vahi, we have uh, three process for production. Actually, we have four process for production. Yeah, uh, Vahid, could you uh, scroll down? Yeah, it's... This is somehow a little stuck on the... Okay, yeah. I think uh, row yeah, number... Uh, process, uh, Danusha, for production, uh, it's <laughs> there in the... So like cycle counting, yeah, and after yeah. that, uh, we have staging and component consumption, uh, yeah. goods receipt from production, goods receipt from production reversal. And also consumption uh, reversal. Yes. yes. Uh, These are the four are production process and physical inventory. We have only one mentioned in the scope document that is cycle counting. Yes, cycle counting. And we only have uh, one this for as part of the pilot, only one plant, uh, no, Novi Ligure plant. So it's only one plant which is going uh, live initially. So based on this, the scope document says based on the pilot run, we will have further global rollout. So it's only one plant specific. Okay, so uh, do we have... Uh uh, vendor return. So there are vendor return. We have two different type of process. So one is with advanced vendor return with the document type NB2. We will create the credit, credit memo process. So another one is like once you done the GRN with the quality issue, they are direct straight away. You are going to <coughs> return the process. So second case is so the material already you have procured. <coughs> its stock is available in your warehouse. And this material already, you know, you uh, pay, paid that uh, vendor also. And now we need to return back to this vendor. So this is like an advanced vendor return process. So okay. this vendor, uh, this NB2 document type called purchase order return PO. There is a outbound delivery will be created. So with reference to that, you are going to picking and, uh, you know, uh, maybe you are deliver the goods to that uh, creating the you know warehouse request confirmations then you are going to do the post goods issue and uh, you know so 
So then, yes. it's going to be a similar process for like shipping the return uh, or. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, yeah a return. Uh, yeah, so this is like uh, customer uh, vendor return is like uh, because uh, they wants to uh, you know create a credit memo. So they wants to my credit you know credit memo means like a vendor account should get debit. So like how we do the PO. So then okay. we are going to do the uh, GRN. So here. So GRN instead of doing GRN, it's like outbound delivery PG will be done. So that part the EWM side, you know, the stock will be uh, delivered to that particular vendor, and uh, invoice will be posted in SAP. That is not uh, invoice. Also, there are various type, right? We have a, a regular vendor invoice. We have a subsequent debit. We have a subsequent credit. We have a credit memo. So it's nothing but invoice and cancellation. Credit memo is nothing but reversal of the invoice. So this. NB2 document type directly will create a credit memo in uh, finance. Uh, okay. Do we have to do that from side of EWM or ECC? Uh, EWM only, I think, because we are uh, doing EWM. No, PO should be from you know S4. PO should be created, but after that delivery is created, right? Outbound is delivery is created with reference to your uh, purchase order. So the activity will be started, right? So you have to picking, packing, and uh, deliver to that vendor. So those things will be EW. So again, so integration involves, and uh, credit memo will be posted by finance, right? So there are three modules should be in the, you know, should be aligned. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Dhanush, we will add, but uh, we don't have currently. There is no flow uh, mentioned, so we can I can use from outside reference and. Yeah, yeah, you can keep it. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, SD side also they have updated so many okay. process they have added. Yeah, so we'll, we'll add the menu yes, menu. yes, you can add those process. Okay. And uh, if you have any intra company stock transfer, inter company stock transfer, yes, you have any scenarios? Yeah, we will add that one also. Okay, okay. you transfer. can update those things. Okay. And uh, suppose you are inbound with the pack specifications, right? The handling unit should be created automatically. So you can specify that is also one of the process. Okay. And um, yeah. Anyway, so just please update, and uh, you know we will uh, final review. Will you know we will have uh, maybe one more uh, next session. We will finalize this uh, EWM uh, BPML. Okay. Is that uh, on Saturday? Saturday, yes. If everybody is available, we will connect Saturday. Yeah. So you want us to add all the all the BPML in PPT, right? Yeah. See, we will try. Maximum process can be covered in the project. Maybe if okay. exceptional process couldn't cover, no problem. So that we can take it. Yeah, we can also okay. uh, you know we'll plan after for implement after our project also we can plan no issues. But okay. we will try. So because when there is a you know when talk about uh, implementation project, you are give an interview. So, you know, apart from EW, EW itself, there are so many uh, process. But apart from that, there are business point of view, right? So, when we talk about, uh, you know, uh, intra-company or inter-company process, and uh, you know, uh, uh, plus the production-related integration, it's this all the challenging area, correct? And uh, we'll identify all the process and how many process can be executed here. It will be, uh, you know, benefit for us. Okay. So for the BPML, right? Uh, the whatever BPML shown in the scope document, uh, can I use the same template? Or uh, no, this document I think uh, this is clear, better than uh, the scope. Uh, you know, BPML what we shared in the drive. So okay. this is very clear. But uh, same you can use for the test group also. So here like a column E. So that is the pro high level process, right? And uh, this inbound from vendor, there are test scripts has to be created. That is not you know during the testing phases. So we okay. need to prepare the unit testing, right? Inbound process. What is the prerequisite process, right? Uh, the step by step process. We talk about uh, purchase order creation, or maybe they will create the PR approval, PO. So then purchase order approval, then inbound delivery creation, then <coughs> inbound delivery trigger to EWM. So picking, packing, right? I mean warehouse order uh, confirmations. So okay. you know, uh, transfer to that uh, destination bins, and in between, if you have any printouts, right? In between, what all the printouts we have, correct? Okay. So everything we have to be make it. As, that, that's an integration test scripts, yes. But still, you know, that test script has to be created for all the process. Okay. So uh, what are you, what? Are you, what I, yes, go ahead. Yes, for you.
Yeah, could you please repeat? No, I mean it was Krishna. I think asking something. Yeah, uh, Danush. Yes, uh, so I what I asked uh, meant was uh, I can use the same template like uh, the the BPML flow diagram mentioned in the scope document, right? For some process not covered, right? I am. We have to create. Uh, yeah, yeah. On, on our own yeah i will use the same yeah yeah so next we have the you know uh, workshop uh, document uh, preparation okay. so next uh, from monday onwards we are going to plan okay. so that is called as a fit gap analysis so that is what we are going to identify the process here <clears throat> so maybe some of the process so we have take it uh, you know from the external so which is not covered in our scope so we okay. are adding the process which we needs to execute in the project so that is we make it our bpml is clear so our scope of the bpml is clear and uh, again, again i'm repeating uh, please go ahead with apart from the bpml if any process you can you want to cover in the project yes you can add it okay so no, no need to stop anything don't think that okay the scope is the uh, only process we need to execute no apart from the scope also like uh, that we discussed for all the module we discussed please add other process also i think sd we have seen yesterday so most of the process is take it uh, you know from other than scope so like that i'm expecting all the module even mm also don't go only with the scope process you can add any ad additional process also right so that we can able to have more uh, maybe two to three project execution what exposure you'll get it you'll get the same exposure here So that uh, we will discuss actually. Uh, I mean, uh, you said like uh, most of the business flow diagram is, uh, you know, the scope is created. Yes, that we in the for blueprint point of view, yes, you have to use it. And uh, but for all the process, all the process we need to design the flow diagram. Okay, so <clears throat> just normal flow diagram. Maybe if you have familiarized in any tool or any online uh, tool or maybe uh, Microsoft Visio tool. or uh, if you familiar with normal uh, word document or normal ppt you can design the flow diagram also possible and uh, every process the flow diagram should be more important so based on the role so we are going to distribute the roles actually so we will discuss the roles what are the roles we have for each and every module and based on the role yes maybe tomorrow we will uh, discuss about the uh, you know the preparation of uh, fit gap analysis okay so i will give you sample 2 uh, 3 uh, fit gap Uh, preparation for each and every module so that you can able to start preparing the workshop document based on each and every uh, bpml process okay so, then uh, yeah. some have some doubt so in uh, in project right we are currently in the early part so the scope is the dis scope normally we get from the discovery phase right so the scope or some Thing. Yes, yes. Discovery phase. Uh, we have already. So during the workshop, uh, we will be presenting to the client uh, in project. So we will be presenting all the standard flows. Sometimes we show the demo, and also we are showing the, all the process wise. Uh, for example, inbound process, everything, and they will give the new requirement or something. Uh, many teams will be sitting there, and they will give us a new requirement, right? So we add in the. requirement log or something all all this will happen in workshop yes yes so for you know yeah, that is what we call fit gap so okay. if you have any kind of gaps has to be identified so this gap we need to address in your bbp and this gap has to be identified in your rice up objects so based on that we have to prepare the functional specification to the technical team so based on that you know they once the object is developed then we have to do the testing and the this process has to be executed or in during the uat okay okay so okay. here you go so maybe whatever the pending ewm business process to be updated in the bpml you can add it okay. so tomorrow uh, we are going to discuss about the fit gap preparations and uh, with the roles so maybe uh, i will just going to discuss and there is a sap uh, best practices right for sap s4 hana so there are all the module they have given the best practices with a Uh, detailed uh, you know the process flows and the business process date in detail and they have given the test scripts also everything they have given so that is also we are going to be discussed tomorrow and but we need some credentials to access uh, uh, you know uh, sap best practices and there we will see the roles also how we can you know uh, all the roles 
uh, role based what are the you know uh, apps currently sap they have provided so for roles and authorization point of view that will be helpful for us uh, you know we will discuss uh, tomorrow sessions maybe today we will be align everyone yes the process whatever we are going to execute in the you know current project so prior is our bpml should be clear so yes we are uh, understand the, all the process and uh, you know so to so based on this only so now the further fit i mean the workshop or the kds or the blueprint or the testing and everything going to be happen okay so and uh, not only that straight forwarded process so how the process triggered so sales point of view so how the process is works mm point of view how the process works production point of view so here we have all module uh, you know a consultant we have so we need to you know as a integration point of view also we need to know that apart from only from your own specific module so as a business point of view you should tell about that okay production what they do so how this process we are in awm side how it is going to update it so all the integration related things we need to discuss so that is what everyone should be aligned in the process point of view okay so yes we have a workshop so definitely everybody will will be aligned with the integration of the process not only from ewm so all the module going to be executed the process from monday onwards so tomorrow we will have a detailed discussion about the uh, preparation of the document and uh, sap best practices how to access the sap so i will share you know with the credentials and all and how to see the you know all the apps in sap fury library in portal how we can get it those things also we will discuss tomorrow